Are you still using partitions on Windows 10 or 11? Stop using them. I'll tell you why. Coming up. Uh, before we get into this episode, let me know in the comments down below who still partitions their hard drive. I know I don't. I haven't for about 10 years now. Um, back in the day, 10, 15 years ago, we had mechanical hard drives. We didn't have SSD drives. So the main reason why we would partition a hard drive would be um, to dual boot OS's, operating systems, or tr or triple boot. Um, one part one partition would be Windows 7, XP, and then Linux. Nowadays, you don't need to. You know, for me, if you create four more partitions on a hard drive, your performance will go will just drop and then you're going to have issues with errors with uh, the file structure of the hard drive just buy hard drives nowadays buy ssd drives um one cool thing what you can do is you can buy 128 gig ssd and install the operating system on that on the second hard drive just move your program files and your program x86 files to that second hard drive and then install your programs on that second hard drive when you boot your your operating system it's going to boot a whole lot faster now if they're ssds i don't think you're going to see a speed difference i mean you probably won't so with everyone that wants to know how to create a partition all you got to do is you right click you got to shrink volume and you call and I'll give this say 10 I'll give it 10 gigs click on shrink click right click on allocated new simple volume next next give it a drive letter and then next finish there's a partition okay now, if you want to go the other way where you want to use your one drive for your boot and your second drive for installing your programs on, I'm going to show you that. So now we're going to just delete these um, partitions here. First, you're going to delete the volume. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to extend the volume it's unallocated so you're going to extend volume and then you're gonna hit next and just hit next finish so now you have your whole drive back now open file explorer you're going to go to the C drive now what you want to do is you want to move these folders before you install any software to them and actually Instead of moving them, just create uh, two folders on your other hard drive. So here we're going to go new folder, one called program files, and then the other one would be called programs x86. Okay, so now files x86. So now let's, what we're going to do is we're going to test it. Let's uh, install something on the second hard drive. Okay, here we're we're gonna install 7-zip. I just downloaded 7-zip, so you're gonna just run it. So here, destination folder. What we're gonna do is we're gonna erase the C drive and do the drive letter that you created that your um, second hard drive is, or whatever hard drive you're gonna install it on. So we're gonna double check. Is gonna be the E drive. Okay, we're gonna hit install close okay so now there's seven zip open location we're gonna go to open file location again and here you see it in the e drive and it opens just fine let me know if this was helpful and for more windows tips tricks give it a thumbs up peace